Well, we are your local election headquarters, and after the Colorado Supreme Court removed Donald Trump from that state's presidential primary ballot, Vermont officials say he'll stay on the ballot in the Green Mountain state unless the U.S. Supreme Court steps in. ABC 22's Isabel Shoneman spoke with a legal expert about what could happen at the federal level. This is completely unchartered territory. No presidential candidate has ever been removed from a ballot on account of the 14th Amendment in history, according to Vermont Law and Grad School professor Jared Carter. In the same week Donald Trump was announced on Vermont's primary ballot, the Colorado Supreme Court removed his name under Section 3 of the 14th Amendment on how officers of the U.S. can be eliminated from a race if they've engaged in insurrection. Does the, the 14th Amendment encompass the office of the president? Presidency. So if you read the language, it doesn't specifically say that a president shall be shall may be removed from a ballot if they engage in insurrection. Carter says it's a question that will eventually have to be answered by the U.S. Supreme Court. He notes, however, Trump's name can remain on Colorado's ballot if he appeals that state's decision by January 4th. The court uh, issued a stay, which means that he will not, in fact, be removed from the ballot as long as he appeals by a certain deadline and pending a decision by the U.S. Supreme Court. He says it's hard to foresee if other states will follow in Colorado's direction. Vermont Secretary of State Sarah Copeland Hansis said Thursday, quote, until a court with appropriate jurisdiction orders this office to remove a candidate from the primary ballot, my team will continue to prepare the March presidential primary ballots with all candidates who met the administrative requirements. But Carter says it's not a decision parties from both sides of the aisle will take lightly. There are really important legal principles at stake here, but this is ultimately, of course, a really political, politicized topic. Um, and so I think no matter what the U.S. Supreme Court decides here, um, it's going to be difficult for a whole segment of the population to trust and have faith in. He says the U.S. Supreme Court's ultimate decision will set a precedent for events similar to Colorado's historic decision. Isabel Shoneman, ABC 22 News.